grief-stricken by the loss of Patroclus, the great warrior lord Achilles took up his spear and armour and charged out of the Greek camp on his chariot towards the walls of Troy. There, his rage, so terrifying, allowed him to simply walk through the Trojan lines, all in fear of the great warrior. Coming to a standstill, Achilles yelled the Trojan's prince's name, Hector, issuing a challenge to the prince. On a bound, the senior Trojan prince emerged from the gates of Troy, armed with a spear and sword. The Trojans looked on as their hero and commander circled the enraged Greek. Suddenly, unable to maintain his rage any longer, Achilles struck out. The attack would have been fatal to any common soldier, however, Hector was no common soldier. Having been forged by war, Hector's quick reflexes allowed him to parry the blow. Achilles stepped back, analysing what had just happened. Hector took the initiative, jabbed his spear towards the Greek. Achilles deflected the attack, but not before the strike had scratched his armour. A cheer went up among the Trojan ranks. There was a real possibility Hector could win this fight. Achilles jabbed his spear at the Trojan, who easily deflected the attack with his shield. The fight continued, with both warriors seemingly evenly matched. Then, Achilles' spear was knocked out of his hand, and only the warrior's quick reflexes saved him from being struck by Hector. Drawing his sword, Achilles swiped at the Trojan prince, cutting just below the thigh. Wounded, Hector's attacks became increasingly taxing on the prince, and finally, in one decisive attack, Achilles slew the Trojan prince. Achilles stood over the body, still enraged. Revenge in Patroclus had not been enough to alleviate the anger inside of him. To everyone's horror, Achilles claimed Hector's body as a trophy. Tying the Trojan's corpse to the back of his chariot and hauling it around the city's walls ten times. Priam, Hector's father and king of the Trojans, looked on in horror as Achilles set off back to the Greek camp with Hector's body, denying the king the right to bury his son. Arriving at the Greek camp, Achilles found himself gradually calming down from his rage. It then dawned on him what he had just done, denying Hector the warrior's burial he rightfully deserved. Overcome with grief at his actions, Achilles didn't notice an old man sneak into his tent. The old man revealed himself to be none other than King Priam of Troy, come to parley for his son's body's return. Achilles, seeing a chance to redeem himself and impressed by the king's bravery, agreed to let the king take the body of Hector back to Troy. However, in killing Hector in revenge, Achilles himself had sealed his own fate. Thanks for watching and listening to our video. If you like the channel, consider subscribing to Ancient History Guy. Or, if you really like the channel, head on over to our Patreon feed. There, for as little as $1 a month, you can gain access to exclusive documentaries, behind the scene footage, and videos before they're live on YouTube. All sources are listed and linked in the description below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I've been the Ancient History Guy, and as always, I'll be seeing you later.